Hello, it's Marcia. And today I am making an accompanying video to go with the tutorial I wrote on how to remove the rim of a dropout vessel with a rotary tool. So I have my setup here. Glasses sitting um, upside down. And um, this is my attachment for watering. This is just some lock line um, that uh, you can buy on anywhere. Amazon, his glass works, any number of places. Um, connected to a water supply. Water supply is very important for the process. This is a flexible shaft that is attached to a rotary tool and on it um, I have a diamond cutoff wheel. This diamond cutoff wheel is 40 millimeters and as you can see it is very very thin. Uh, it has little holes in it and that's to keep the diamonds cool. So what you want to do um, is balance your uh, your flex shaft tool, your cutoff wheel, on this little screw on, at the bottom and this is how it attaches to the mandrel and the mandrel co connects to the flex shaft. But anyway, you're going to balance um, the flex tool on that screw and work your way around the piece. You want to hold um, the flex shaft upright to the, um, to the glass. You want to try to keep it uh, parallel to the rim and you're going to go all the way around. Now I have um, a setup here that's on a very small uh, Lazy Susan carousel uh, type of a thing uh, topped with a, with a plate so that I can just spin uh, the piece around and as you can see it spins very easily and I can just keep it moving. You can also choose to move the tool um, if that's what you'd like to do but if you move the tool you're going to have to move the water so it's just easier if you have um, something where you can just rotate the piece. So I'm going to start the tool and oh I do need to bring up one little thing. As you can see on the on the cutoff on the diamond cutoff wheel again this is 40 millimeters and you can see it has a band of diamonds on it. This band of diamonds is probably about 3 8 of an inch thick or uh, 9 millimeters or so and you want to make sure that you get at least a 40 millimeter wheel that gives you at least 3 8 of an inch that you can use uh, or 9 millimeters to cut through your rim. Uh, and, and it also gives you enough space where between the edge of the tool and the start of the diamonds you have enough space so that when you the further in you get the tool is not prohibiting you from going all the way through. So anyway that's the reason for the 40 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and I'm not going to do the whole thing because that would be a very long video. What I'm going to do is take a pass just to show you how I go about doing it and kind of show you how much pressure I use. You definitely don't want to try to go all the way through the glass. You only want to go um, very little bits at a time. So because you don't want the glass to tark, you don't want it to break and you don't want it to get overheated. You wind up with broken glass that way. So just remember take it slow and make many 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 passes as you go around. So I'm going to start everything up now. guys when it's off okay okay you guys we are done I just turned off the water and I'm gonna lift this up and we'll see how we did and you see my perfect rim around there and here you have um, the cutoff uh, vessel 
and as you can see it's pretty straight it's not it's really not bad at all um, so far as cold working now to uh, to finish it up so uh, the process does work uh, very well and this vessel is probably about seven inches tall or so um, and the rim is maybe I don't know six eight inches wide whatever the whatever the drop vessel turned out to be um, this one did not reach the bottom so, I'm so um, I can't just stand it up it'll just sit there but um, this really is about this end of it so I just want you to see very well uh, how it worked and that concludes the cutting part of the tutorial uh, I do want to add a couple of things to this and that is before you start go around a few times to make sure that your uh, water source is kind of in a good spot where you don't have to adjust it um, for a whole lot uh, you know a whole lot of times and uh, be safe make sure you wear uh, protective eyewear so and, uh, and you'll also need a uh, plastic uh, or plastic apron or something like that to um, to keep the water off of you but that concludes this and take care enjoy your day happy glassing